Hi everybody, welcome to this free-to-play video guide for the opening and therefore the weekend round in Master Division for the St. Patrick's Day Tournament. Please give me a thumb up, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new here, a very warm welcome. Bear in mind, most of these shots are kingmakers. There are a few luminaries, but there are some tough wind angles to navigate. I'm going to give you as many tips as possible, but ultimately, take a token or two if you can. Get familiar with the setups, tweak according to your playstyle and club level, and also put some wind angle tweaks in if you can. But take your time, make some notes. If you play nice fairways and greens with a few drops along the way, you're going to do very well in this free entry tournament. Here we go with hole number one. Very nice wind angle to start with. We're going to go with five top spin and two bars side spin to the left with our APOC and a kingmaker. Red ring touching the rough on the left with APOC five and six, top of plus 10 yards. APOC four starts at P3 max and we'll have 20% of the red ring overlapping the rough. And once we've found our position there, you can look at the ball guide as well, of course, with spin added. But we're going to adjust max plus 10 power three settings and then it's time to take our shot plain ball shot no overpower no curl just center the ball nicely and focus on hitting perfect bouncing over the rough very nicely with a perfect ball and we're looking for a drive distance here of around 375 yards second shot is going to be played with the grizzly and we're going to perform a bottom white ring pin check so have the bottom of the white ring touching the pin Plus four with Grizzly nine equal to plus seven with Grizzly seven and eight. And you're going to play this one 54% slider minus five elevation. We're going to add two clicks or 0.2 top spin. It might be about three clicks actually, but whichever you think matches what I've got in the video, I call it 0.2 top spin. Having the ball guide going to the front edge of the cup with the red ring touching the rough line. 54% slider, minus 5 elevation, use Grizzly 9 numbers, and remember, uh, the plus 4 reference there is for Grizzly 9, that would equal plus 7, with Grizzly 7 and 8 due to different distance of your club. Two pulls over the bullseye, so make sure you do the same, and then just a perfect ball here, nothing else needed here, just an accurate adjustment with a perfect ball, going to catch the rough or the rocks very nicely, and get us onto the green, falling out the pin for an eagle. This one will need a tweak, but here is the setup anyway. Before spin, white ring touching the rough with the sniper, that's the, what, the top of the white ring, ball guide through the hole. Then I'm going to add my spin. In the video here, going with one top spin and one right spin, but like I said, this will need a little tweak based on the miss in the video. The adjustment here, Mid distance, 20% elevation, power three numbers. Mid plus 20, power three. So finishing our adjustment there takes us to plus five, so not going to adjust into overpower, I wouldn't think, even with higher winds. Uh, center the ball here, and we're going to hit perfect, and let's have a look at the result. Like I said, just a small tweak needed on the spin here, bouncing very safely on the fairway but just unfortunately missing the right edge of the cup. But a very tough wind angle on this par three. Nice wind angle here though for this par five. We're gonna go with 5.8 top spin and three right spin. Top of plus 10 with APOC five and above. Uh, P3 max with APOC four. You'll see the second bounce just inside the rough there. Blue ring touching the rough on the right with APOC five and six. APOC four, 30% of the blue ring overlapping the rough because your ring sizes will be bigger. Max plus 10 power 3 numbers here. Making our adjustment, that's 9.2 rings for me, but different winds and different clubs will have a different number of rings needed of course. One ball curl to the right just before the circle drops as our overpower reference and you'll see here we've got room away from the rough and we're finding the middle of the fairway Getting a nice roll here, drive distance, is going to be around 380. This is a get it to green safe eagle rather than look at the albatross, but of course you could go with different setups for the albatross if you want. Six top spin and two bars side spin to the left and leaving ourselves room before the bunker and from the rough on the left as well. 
so that we're not going to endanger either of them. Mid plus 10 is what I'm adjusting here. Mid distance, 10% elevation. Uh, if you set up too far right, there is a risk of a glitch roll here. But as always, just take a token or two first. Experience some different wind strengths and wind angles before playing live just to increase um, your chances of successful shots. Bouncing very nicely here, avoiding the glitch roll. You're either going to get on the green or, if not, a very simple wedge for your eagle. Hole in one here, we're going to play from the minimum distance line with our quarterback and a power three ball. Red ring touching the rough on the left. Then I'm adding 1.3 backspin, no side spin. And then time to adjust our rings. Min plus 20, power two. And I'm not really worrying about pulling over the bullseye. I'm just going to the bullseye and then for anything remaining, adding the extra on. So I did 10.2 uh, rings here. That was 5.2 plus five. So I'm not intentionally pulling all the way over the yellow. Perfect ball bouncing comfortably away from the rough and then finding the gap, rolling onto the green nicely, hitting the pin and falling for the hole in one. Here we're gonna need the APOC and the Grizzly. Two top spin, three right spin, and it's the red ring touching the rough on the right with APOC five and six at the top of plus zero. APOC four, you will be at plus six with 20% of the red ring overlapping the rough. Push rings to adjust, otherwise the bushes there are going to obscure your view of the rings. So push rings to adjust, max plus zero, power three settings. Going with um, some curl here, half a ball of curl to the right, and just before the circle drops as our overpower reference. Hitting perfect here. If you do adjust into overpower with APOC 4, then I would add that on accordingly. But APOC 5, you're going to be fine. And we're going to get a drive distance here of around 325 yards. Don't want to push it much further because I'm going to play rings from min with the Grizzly. So finding the minimum distance line, I've added here 2.7 top spin. Might need to vary depending on your drive distance. But then I'm counting up rings from min and having the top left of the red ring touching the rough. And then the ball guide going to the pin. Here I pushed up seven rings from min. So I'm going to play this 9% slider. You'll see actually the tip of the ball guide is just through the back of the cup. So keep that reference. Otherwise you might be short. So tweak the top spin. Make sure the ball guide is going just through the back of the cup. Seven rings from min is going to be played 9% slider. Zero elevation power three settings. One pull here because we're less than 10 rings, so no need to worry about uh, pulling over the bullseye twice in this instance. Perfect ball away, and you have a decent chance. If your drive is too long, then you will not be able to play with the grizzly. You'll be with thorns, so that's why I'm deliberately going for that length of drive. First, let it be said, this wind angle is very nasty indeed, and you've got to really fight for it with a kingmaker. Quarterback. Top of plus 10 yards, blue ring touching the rough. Then switch to APOC and Cataclysm or Big Dog Bag. Then we add our top spin, 5.8 top spin. If you've got a bit more top spin available, you could consider using it. It would make the second shot easier. But I'm limiting myself here to mimic those having APOC 4. Max plus 0, power 3. Uh, takes us to plus 10 yards, just into the plus 11. So it's going to be full overpower regardless though. APOC 4, if you've got a luminary, it will help you give you a slower needle. It will also help with APOC 5+. plus. But try and hit perfect with my APOC 6. A minor great left and right have been fine. But with lower accuracy clubs, you may be in the rough. So if you've got a better ball, you can switch to, then do so. 340 yards is kind of the minimum you need. We're going to go with 6 top spin, 3 left spin setting up with the second bounce in the rough as shown at max distance with the power three ball adjustment max plus zero now again this is a full overpower shot i adjust into five rings of overpower well about 4.7 i would add a ring on to whatever you adjust into for me that takes me to max op so there is my word of warning there you've got to fight for the eagle with a kingmaker there will be a lot of people 
just going to come away with a birdie here. Like I said, if you've got a better ball, use it and tweak it, but you want a double bounce, get the third bounce in the rough and roll out for a simple wedge or putt. NMT shot here on this par three, add spin. We're going to go with two top spin and one and a half right spin. And then we're going to play min plus 10 power three numbers. So make sure you've got your kingmaker and your quarterback pre-selected when you load the hole because like I said this is a no movement target shot so just add your spin adjust your rings min plus 10 power 3 and off you go zoom out here make sure you get a good view of the rings otherwise the rocks might be in the way um, going here I can do this with one pull it's around 9.7 rings if I remember correctly and then time to hit perfect Barring any wind angle tweaks that you might want to put in to increase your drop rate, perfect ball here is going to have a decent chance, bouncing very comfortably on the fairway. It's going to be great safe either side, and we're rolling plum at the pin for the hole-in-one. Now, on this par 4, we're going to play APOC on the drive. Top of plus 10 with APOC 5 plus, P3 max with APOC 4. Then it's time to add spin. We're going with 5.8 top spin and 3 right spin. APOC 5 and 6, blue ring touching the rough. APOC 4, 30% of the blue ring overlapping the rough. Adjustment is going to be max plus 5, P3. Second shot is going to be played using the thorn. More on that when we get to it. Uh, no curl, no overpower, just a nice perfect ball. Center it correctly, hit perfect here and you're going to roll uh, over the rough, or kind of bounce over the rough rather, and then roll down the fairway. We want to catch the slope here. There it is. Because we want to play landing position plus yards with the thorn. Drive distance of around 390 yards. Second shot then with the thorn. We're going to have the red ring touching the rough. And then we're going to add spin. We're always going to use one left spin. And here I'm using four and a half top spin. Red ring touching the rough line and the ball guide you'll see slightly short and just offset to the right of the cup. Make sure you replicate that as well. This one did drop nicely for me. So four and a half top, one left. Ball guide just a little bit to the right and also short of the cup. Landing position of plus three is going to be 94% on the slider, 10% elevation. You're going to pull over the bullseye anyway up in master with these wind strengths with the kingmaker and then we're making our adjustment two percent per yard difference so if you're at four plus four with your landing position you're going to play 96 percent and so on perfect ball here catching the rough beautifully and uh, rolling in for the eagle now i'm going with a luminary here because a kingmaker is going to be extremely difficult to get the eagle so i would recommend a luminary Top of plus 12 with APOC 5 and above. Top of plus 18 with APOC 4. Three top spin, two right spin. APOC 5 and 6, there you can see you will have half of the blue ring inside the rough. Other club levels, of course, you can look at the ball guide or use rings bible to get your ring references. Max plus 0, power 5 numbers. And then we're going to go here with a two and a quarter ball of curl. So look at the line drawn down from the T. An imaginary line would go in the middle of the triangle just before the circle drops as our overpower reference. Deliberately showing you max wind with a kingmaker or rather a luminary, of course, to show that this is going to be OK. You're not going to get higher wind than 12.3. Drive distance around 335 to 340. Second shot, max top spin, half a bar of right spin with the horizon. Bullseye just before it gets clipped away by the rough and the ball guide showing as it's going to trickle down on the green. Again, this is where you need your power five ball really, untested with anything other than a luminary. Max plus zero is going to take me into two and a half rings of OP. And I'm adding on two rings onto that. In fact, two and a half rings. I go with five rings of OP here. Try and hit perfect. Great balls should still be fine though. There is a bit of room on this one, but I strongly recommend you take a token or two. As you can see, there's still room away from the rough. The great ball actually helps me. I trickle down onto the green here, 
but I'm going to show you a contingency wedge shot if you don't make it onto the green then here is a tip with the end bringer that you can still hopefully use to get your eagle if you are short of green play end bringer school 30% elevation though rather than 20 power 5 settings no spin Make sure you've got that ball guide going into the hole, though, with this headwind angle. Uh, from what I remember, this one was around 70% on the slider, but always measure it yourself. Like I said, this is a very tough wind angle, and for free to play, an eagle is kind of going to be counting as a drop here. I don't think even with a premium ball, you're going to see people getting an albatross, so that's why I would recommend you go with a luminary. Try and snag that eagle if you can. Perfect ball away and hopefully you finish your front nine with an eagle. If you're enjoying the free content here and want to support the channel, you can do so in one of three ways. You can click the super thanks button directly underneath the video. You can use the PayPal link in the description down below, or you can become a channel member and unlock a few perks as well. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Here we go with the back nine. Nasty wind angle here. I'm going with a luminary to give you a chance at the eagle. Um, power 5 ball of course, blue ring touching the rough with the QB on the left there at P5 max, then you switch to your APOC and Grizzly bag, 5.8 top spin, 2 left spin. Now even with a luminary, this drive is going to be tricky, especially in higher winds with more headwinds, so be prepared to adapt. You can of course secure the birdie, a safe birdie with a kingmaker if you want to though, but you'd obviously have to find a little route there. Max plus 10, power 5, full over power regardless of what you were just into. Unfortunately, APOC 4 is going to massively struggle with this shot. Um, so uh, apologies for that, but it is going to be, I would think, a safe birdie for you. But if you've got APOC 5 and want to give it a go, uh, we have a drop. 370 yards there, full over power, try and hit perfect. Second shot, make a pin check with the Grizzly, plus 7 with Grizzly 9 will be plus 10 with Grizzly 7 and 8. Then we're going to add spin next, top spin only. And you want the red ring touching the rough ball guide nicely through the hole. You could see I used one and a half top spin there, but you might need to tweak it based on your drive, especially if you've hit a great ball to the left or the right. Plus seven pin check is going to be 72% slider, and we're going to play it 5% elevation. Grizzly nine numbers and pulling over the bullseye twice. So just to recap, very nasty wind angle. The reason I'm using a luminary is I want to give you a look at the eagle, really. If you don't have a luminary to spend or you've got APOC 4, I'm afraid it is going to be safe birdie only. So just try and find yourself a way to bounce over to the green safely wherever you land on your drive. Get yourself on the fairway and you should have a wood club bounce over if you want to lay up. But otherwise, here is a very good shout for an eagle with a luminary if you've got one and are prepared to use it. Little tweak needed here on this tricky par three. Once again, setting up with the top of the white ring touching the rough with the ball guide through the hole. So the same reference as the front nine. Then we're gonna add spin, which will need a bit of a tweak. In the video, you can see I'm using three back spin and one right spin. So just keep in mind, you might need to tweak this one slightly based on the miss in the video. The adjustment I'm making here is mid plus 20, power two. Use sniper 10 numbers regardless of your club level. And we're doing two pulls over the bullseye. Centering the ball here and hit perfect. And a bounce over the rough very nicely. And you'll see uh, taking a nice run onto the green but just stopping a couple of clicks to the right and a click short. Third and final luminary for this playthrough, but it is uh, really helpful on this hole with this nasty wind angle. We're going with 5.8 top spin, two right spin, blue ring touching the rough on the right with APOC 5 and 6 at the top of plus 0. 30% of the blue ring inside the rough with APOC 4 at the top of plus 6. The adjustment is max plus 10 but we are going to use power three settings. Now you can see it takes me to plus 22. I'm going to go for a full over power shot, one and a half ball curl to the right. Uh, it's a slightly slower needle with APOC 5+, plus. it won't be with APOC 4, 
So just try and hit perfect. I think a minor great left and right will be fine here. I've tested it with a minor great right at least and I was okay. Drive distance around 355 yards. Second shot with the Cataclysm or the Big Dog. And then again, this is just to get to green safely. We're going six top spin, and uh, in fact, 6.2 I go with in the end, get myself a bit more distance. 6.2 top spin, two left spin. Leaving myself some room from the rough and the bunker at the same time. Make sure you do the same. You don't want to risk the first bounce in the sand or the rough. And again, max plus five, and once again using power three numbers. You'll see why we're using a luminary here. It takes me into overpower, two rings of OP onto the adjust, and that is what I'm going with here. So the same amount of OP as I adjust into. Really do advise you to take a token with these nasty wind angles, though. Get familiar with them. Uh, very important, especially with free to play. You're going to have to fight for the eagle. We're getting it on the green, just missing to the right actually, but I'm pleased with an eagle with this nasty wind. This might look like an easy wind angle, but straight tailwind is actually quite tough for free to play. So I'm going to play with the Guardian, top of plus eight with level eight and nine, and then we're going to add spin. Here I'm going with a 1.2 backspin, aiming with the second bounce just away from the rough. Ring references will vary with Guardian level eight. But with level 9, you've got the uh, red ring touching the rough there. Adjustment. Max plus 25p2. This will need a little bit of a tweak if you want to pursue the hole in one. But if not, it's a safe route for your birdie. And believe me, there will be a lot of free-to-play players getting a par on this one because this tailwind will push you way further than you think. So max plus 25, power 2. We're getting it safely to green. Maybe a few clicks of curl or a click less backspin, you might have the hole in one. Good chance for an eagle here. Got to get a good drive distance though to have landing position plus yards with our thorn. Two top spin, three right spin. Uh, top of plus zero with APOC five plus. APOC five and six will have the red ring touching the rough. Max plus five, power three is the adjustment. If you are using an APOC four, you will set up at the top of plus six yards and you will have 20% of the red ring inside the rough. Take a token or two, try and get the target yards correct here. We're looking for around 332 yards. If you're too short here, you're going to be in between clubs. Uh, outer wall curl to the right just before the circle drops as our overpower reference and then hit perfect. I want to be able to use landing position plus yards. So we're getting a nice roll there, 330 plus, you're gonna be absolutely fine. Now here you can see I'm right in the middle of plus yardage. We're gonna to add top spin here. We want five bars of top spin. And then we're gonna have the red ring touching the rough line with the ball guide uh, going through the hole by about a green square and a half. And it's going over the left side of the cup. So make sure you offset there the same as me. Plus two landing position, gonna be played 88% slider, 5% elevation, power four numbers. That is a revision based on the video because I want you to drop it right at the pin. This one, I was maybe just a click or two to one side. So the revised value on the notepad and in my commentary should get you a dead center drop. As you can see, just sneaking this one in on the right side of the cup. Very nice wind angle here, and we're gonna play with APOC, and I'm playing the second shot with a Guardian here. 5.8 top spin on the drive, P3 max with APOC five plus, ball guide just pointing to the right of center of that small bottleneck area of the fairway. APOC five and six, you've got um, kind of 20% of the clear ring on the fairway there. Uh, APOC 4 and 7 and 8 will have different ring references. APOC 4, you will have to stretch out uh, 1.7 rings into OP to find your position. Max plus 15, APOC 5 and 6, I'm pushing up three rings. With APOC 4, I would push up around uh, 4 to 4.2 rings because you've got uh, bigger rings, but also you need to compensate for the lacking of distance. Uh, you've got six yards to uh, recover, really, because you've got a shorter driver. Full overpower with a slow needle. Take a token or two. 
but you just want to get a good distance down here avoiding the rough drive distance of around 440 second shot i'm going with eight backspin and as much right uh, sorry left spin possible with that backspin now here is kind of a general adjustment it's going to be tough to get the albatross with the backspin uh, there is a rough bump if you want to but you would need a few tokens to try and dial that one in but here as a general guide for a safe eagle outside chance of the albatross if you want it true club distance zero elevation so i found my max line found the min line and then in the end i estimate this to be 70 percent of club distance so i place 70 percent slider zero elevation a bit of left curl has helped bring it in towards the pin even with a great left this one is safe i'm bouncing away from the rough but of course if you're worried about a great ball you can great proof it even further Another NMT setup with the quarterback and a kingmaker here. I've dropped this with multiple wind strengths as well. Uh, we're going to go with 1.8 backspin and 1.4 right spin. Unusual spin amounts, but take a token or two. Put a tweak in if your eyes see the decimals a little bit different to me. But the adjustment here is min plus 15 power 3 settings. Min plus 15 power 3. I do 5.8 and then the remaining five to the bullseye. Just to have that said, try and replicate as much as you can here. And a perfect ball here, centering, no curl, no overpower, unless you're building in any tweaks. Bouncing very nicely over the rough and the sand, and we're rolling in for a hole in one. Here we're going to play with the Kingmaker and the APOC. And we're going to go with 5.8 top spin to right spin. This is all about getting the drive distance correct here. You may, in some cases, roll down the slope. If you're doing that in practice, then reduce the top spin slightly. Top of plus 4 with APOC 5 and above. Top of plus 10 with APOC 4. I've got the clear ring touching the rough with APOC 5 and 6. You will have approximately... Um, half of the clearing overlapping the rough with APOC 4. Max plus 10. Here I go with circle drop OP. But as I said, if you have more crosswind angle, you may not need the OP. It may get you to roll down the slope. So that's why I say take a token or two first. Otherwise, you might have to play with a different club. So try and build in some tweaks if you can. Ideally, you want to stop just before you roll down the big slope there around 380 yards um, second shot if you can play with the grizzly that's what i've done here as your drop reference um, but be prepared to improvise if you do get a glitch roll down the slope then you're going to be playing with the thorn but it won't endanger the birdie adding spin as shown is going to be around one and a half top spin one left spin then we're pushing up rings from min and counting our rings from min until we have the red ring touching the rough I've pushed up 11 rings from in here, then I'm finding position with the red ring touching rough and the ball guide offset about half a green square away from the pin. Make sure you try and replicate that offset as best you can, because the wind is going to push us down to the right once we've cleared the rough. Rings from in, 15% elevation, pulling twice over the bullseye here, and 11 rings from in. Uh, that was coming out at 14% on the slider. So 14% slider, 15% elevation. Like I said, though, try and get a bit more comfortable with the drive. Tweak the spin or the overpower if you're finding yourself rolling down the fairway a little bit too far. And the rings from in here, though, has been dropping very nicely for the eagle. Final par 5, we're going to play with the rock, blue ring touching the rough on the right at P3 max with the rock level 8, top of plus 15 with the rock level 9. One top spin, three right spin if you are worried about rolling into the rough or have higher wind with more tailwind, then by all means reduce the top spin by a few clicks. But ultimately the choice is yours, you've got to assess the wind angle. If you're worried, like I say, take a click or two off, you're still going to reach on the second shot. So if that is a concern, play with like 0.5, 0.6 top spin instead. Max plus 10, P3, 1.5 ball curl to the right, 
just before the circle drops with our overpower reference. Important not to apply any more than that, otherwise you risk rolling long. So take all of that into consideration when you weigh up how to play that drive, but for me, 342 yards is going to be fine. Second shot with a distance wood club, between 3.5 and, and 4 top spin, and 1 bar side spin to the right. And then we're stretching out to max distance, having the ball guide pointing as shown in the middle of the bunker and the pin. Adjust max plus 10 power 3 settings. Then we're going to leave our target where it is and go with full overpower, but you will have a nice slow needle. Minor great left, minor great right. Still going to be fine here. You might want to tweak the top spin based on some testing, but for me, I've always trickled down onto the green very, very nicely indeed. And the idea here is to get safely on the green and you're going to have a putt for your eagle on this par 5. Thank you for watching this video for the St Patrick's Day tournament. Please share it amongst your friends and clanmates in the game as well. And all of you, please join my free Facebook group, BK Golf Clash, over 12,000 members there. Uh, promotion of paid text guides from the various guide teams around and also free guides as well in multiple divisions, shot sharing and discussion points. The best of luck here in this tournament. See you soon. Bye for now.